I'm the Marmoset. This is City Skylines. Welcome back to Animalia. Our little town is growing quite nicely in this area here. Um, it's looking pretty good. What we're going to be doing today, the gentlemen, is developing this area over here into a high-rise beachfront kind of area. So we're going to probably move our absurdly peered touristy districts from over here. And we're going to try and see if we can actually put them on this beach so that they are, appear in some kind of rational fashion. So... Oh, flooding. Yes, because um, this is in the process of settling a bit. So, yeah, that'll do. We have a new mod, ladies and gentlemen. A new little mod. It's a city health thing. This allows me to immediately keep a track of all my city statistics in one go. So, we don't have a crematorium availability, because we don't have a crematorium, so that's fine. We are, however, running on the edge of our power output, which means we need to put a new power plant in. Fortunately, we've got lots of money. Um... Hmm. Let's have a quick play and looking at how much power we could generate from a dam. Now, I have unfortunately stuck a canal thing in here, so I can't necessarily immediately put the dam there um, because all the water would just flow right down the canal. It wouldn't get any headwater. But I could. Let's, I mean, let's, if I put a dam from here, no, from here. It definitely wants to go... I mean, that is the correct direction, I suppose. I mean, if I turn around the map... It's made 121 megawatts. If I go from... I mean, that's quite expensive. Swap. Hmm. Because hmm. we want to get a half decent thing. Now, these things produce... 20 megawatts for 200 a week. Or... 20 megawatts by 200. How many megawatts a week is that? Or how many megawatts a dollar is that? So that's 20 megawatts for 200 a week. And that costs 2,000 to sell, but I can get up to 1,600. That's 2,000 to sell. So that's going to be 20 megawatts... 20. And if I put a dam in here, dam in there, that'll get me 140 odd megawatts. Once it all fills up. Um, and if I'm judging that right, that water flow is vaguely in this direction. My concern about putting a dam in this area is that um, it would take a very, very long time for it to all appreciably back up and be of any use. But we are making a lot of money, and it would be nice to have the extra power, and it would be nice to flood this area a bit more with more water. So I am going to put a dam in. It's going to produce us 144 megawatts of power when it's done. Let's plug you into the power grid. As such, so this will be big city. Yay! We've got a big city, ladies and gentlemen. So the first thing I'm going to do is pause and take a look at the extra things we got. Now, what were the extra things we got? We got crematorium and water treatment plants. So the first thing we need to do is clean up the poo. Because the Otolot has been complaining about the poo. Yes, I wish to destroy these horribly polluting structures. Because we have a disgusting poo problem. I now have sewage plants, my dear. So we no longer have to worry about disgusting poo water. The poo water will eventually and slowly but surely go away. And we can now build also crematoriums. So I'm going to put a few of these in. Now, obviously the jellyfish of horror should have a crematorium. And obviously we should probably put one somewhere along Vertebrae Park. We should probably stick one on that main road. Let's tuck one in on the outside edge over here. So you can see that these these guys are starting to complain about power. It's because we don't have enough 
power. And let's make sure we've got one in the heart of our industrial district to help all that. So, yep, now we've got a collection of crematoriums. So the other thing is, it was electricity availability. Now, the dam, as I said, is going to take a while to kick in. So in the interim, we are probably going to have to put a few more of our favourite little power plants. And while we have the cash, I'm going to spend it a bit and significantly upgrade our power capacity. Done. Good. Power is fine. Healthcare is fine. Everything else is really good. High scalability is ticking down, but we don't need to worry about that immediately. So we'll just let that tick up, let our reserves of cash build up. So yeah, this is all going to just get a little bit weird to begin with as the water slowly works out what it is and is not meant to be doing. It's costing us quite a bit, but I think over time it should sort itself out. So <laughs> the water is actually a moment flowing back over the top of it. So we have some flooding. Are you... Yes, we have power generating 112 watts. That's pretty good value for money. I should probably connect it up to the road network. Uh, I wonder if that... Yeah, that does work. It's not the greatest bit of road work in the world. And getting off it, that's a hell of a turn. But... It will do. You can hear the grouping noises. I'm hoping this isn't going to drain all the water out of my canals. It's probably going to drain all the water out of my canals. Hmm. Alright, we'll just let it tick on for a little bit. And if it turns out that it does drain all the water out of my canals, then I'll probably have to do something about it. Maybe what I'll do is I'll probably put a sh shallow canal back up here when we buy this stretch of land and have that act as a feeder canal so it doesn't take too much water off this. How much power are you producing now? 96 megawatts, 112 megawatts. So it's fluctuating a little bit, but I mean, as you can see this, the tidal wave as the water bounces backwards back upstream, slowly making its way along. Yes, I think that might have been an expensive mistake. Yes, there's no longer no water in my canals. And I don't think we necessarily need it. Um, no, no, I, it was a nice idea, and it is nice that if, should the, it come down to it, we've got it. 112 megawatts. It's pretty efficient, but it's... Because of it, there's no longer any water in my canals. Whereas what I actually want is water in my canals. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to do demolish the dam. Yes. Cause quite an impressive tidal wave of water. And see what I can do about building the cheapest little dam I can possibly get away with. Only 16 megawatts. Put it in there. Yeah, that's really expensive, so let's just leave that be. We've got the power we need. There's an enormous wall of water. It's going to suddenly start flowing and slowly, gently making its way across. But let's start laying out some roads over here. So let's get our beachfront road going. Just see how badly. That's not too bad. It's not too bad. I mean, it's going to be slightly better for us than the absurdity that we had previously. In terms of... See, that's not bad at all. I wonder how close I can get that to the water's edge. There we go. Yes, okay, fine. Alright, let's... Uh, no, I'll leave these guys there until we've sorted the rest of this lot out. So, uh, there's just enough space for me to put a road up this edge. Get some pin stuff on there. Let's see what happens. If I say go to there from there, space already occupied. So it looks like we're going to have to come out. Page up. Uh, let's reduce the increments all the way down. I don't want to go too far. Yeah, 
get uh, scrub that. Get my road. There we go. That's uh, accounting for the variations in the terrain height. Not too bad. Can I just go straight across? No, already occupied by there. I'm out. One tap across. These people are kind of weird in how they like their bridges. I don't quite understand why I couldn't have a rational development in this location. Um, if I just come across to... Hmm. Changes in elevation. Oh, well, snap. No, I don't need to snap. So go to about there. And then finish off. Yes, that's better. Let's see if we can't get... Grab that. See if we can't get you to behave rationally as well. Is it in particular that you just don't like about this area? Do you like bends? I like bends. I like flat roads as well. We'll take that. It's mostly because this road, these roads aren't remotely lined up in any shape or form. But here we're starting afresh. Bend me around to this corner and then go straight again. Straight again. And then we will go straight again. Just to there. And then I will line this road up. First. These look like quite pretty estates, I think, when this is all done. They're slowly ticking up, getting more and more people coming in. I don't know what I'll do with this area just yet. Let's just quickly check the button of natural resources. It's telling me it's all forestable. So we've got quite a lot of mining we can fish out of all this. I think probably I'll just turn this into an industrial area. Do we have any immediate problems? No. It's a lot of traffic lorries. An awful lot of people trying to turn either direction. Mostly Yeah, okay, so something we can do here is just make life a little easier for our city's ends. Is we can let them left turn in that lane. So they're not all doing that endlessly and shuffling back and forwards. I do hope we can get this emptied at some point. Because then I can rearrange that slightly and make it into a better junction. People coming back and forth along here. There are trucks and things using this roadway. It's a huge, very long slip road. Yeah, the fun and games building the interchange over here. But let's start laying more of these roads because we want to do some actual proper district building. We've done enough of the road tinkering for now, I think. Let's put the next one in what we've got a better idea of how far over it is. Yeah, that'll do nicely. Rub it right up against the edge. Leave a nice big gap down the middle so that these extra parks and the like. So we'll do the same over here. What we'll do is run one up the middle. And then we'll go let's turn the snapping back on.
Do 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 do. Let's um, let's go back one on that one, and let's just bring it just a smidge further over. Don't mind it too much being not perfect. Let's start plugging some of these guys together. Crossways. Rotate. Give me just a little page up. Get me my bridge. Space already occupied by the dam. If I go the other way, it's a fine. Oh, who knows? Probably better off if I put the bridge in first. And then and the snapping off. Yeah, that'll do. And then do that again over that side. Hmm. It works. I'm not necessarily convinced it's perfect right shape. I'd rather that was a straight line. So let's have you then to ground level as quickly as you possibly can. Slope is too steep. I think the slope would be too steep. You know, I know. We've got a huge residential demand for quite a while now. Still not on the ground, are you? Still not on the ground. That's a tunnel. Too kinky. It's all too kinky. Can't have it being kinky. Kinky's not allowed. Not allowed to be kinky. Our bridges across. Alright, grand district. Alright, let's start connecting, finding a way of getting this connected up to the motorway. I attempted to have the bleed off actually on this side and then have it feed in that way. Maybe just have a sky feed in coming off, coming off and onto that bridge. So let's look at building ourselves a junction. Slowly our cash is ticking up. Well, I wonder how the flooding's dealt with itself. That's not too bad. And there's water going back into our uh, our canals, our absurdly steep-sided canals, because I decided to dig them through a trench network. Oh, I mean, it'll look pretty enough once the water's flowed back into it. It's not quite deep enough yet. Do -do. Right, we wanted to try and plug this into the road network in some kind of rational, kind of sane way. Let's build ourselves a roundabout. So that snappy be gone, thank you very much. Uh, no, no, snapping again. Ten by ten. Oh, I was in the middle of doing a roundabout. Very loud. 
Let's just finish off this roundabout, and then we'll be calling it an episode where, in which I have played with dams unsuccessfully, and have begun the process of making ourselves a new high density residential area. Let's um, yeah, let's leave the fact that that's not going to be a perfect one because we don't want it to actually fly over the canal too much. That'll do. That'll do nicely. So we want slip road from there to there. Ooh, we can buy new land. Slip road from there to there. I like nice long slip roads because it means when you get queues of traffic, you uh, the traffic can merrily just queue itself up onto the slip road. We don't have to worry too much about anything hideously drastic in. I was going to see if I could bridge it in. So, if you want to get into the district, you can do it there. Hmm. 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 Going in. And snapping off just briefly. Down to the ground. Nope, look at that tunnel. I need a hell of a tunnel. Actually, bizarrely, kind of works. <laughs> you get out of the district that way. You get into the district by going off that side. You get out of the district by joining onto this other sub road. No, <laughs> that is silly. It's highly silly. Really, I can't I do that. But because of the nature of how the canals are implemented. No wonder though, rather than just making that a slip road, can I just make it a really fancy bridge? Nice. No, I don't want to be deleting. I want to, yep, yeah, there we go. Grand. So, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. We have our new district, our new canal way. We'll need to come up with a name for it in the next episode, but that'll be next time. Thank you very much for watching. I've been the Marmoset. This has been Animalia. We played with dams, we played with canals, we played with emptying the water out of the canals, and then making complicated motorway junctions. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe.